Hey guys and girls, I'm my best Noki, and welcome to another episode of Subspace I'm sorry. In the last episode, we went to the forest and we went to a research facility. And how could I for and how could I really just miss out on the obvious joke of saying run forest run? Uh, anyway. And in this episode, I am going to be going in. Well, we are going to be going to Lakeshore. So, let's go. So, we meet up with our good buddy Kirby. Oh, God, this is awesome. And we find some dark snow. Which I am going to be a bit of a snowman of, but I just don't have enough time. Wah. <laughs> anyway. So. We have a fight against Dark Link. Dark Link. Dark Zelda. Yeah, <laughs> apparently everybody thinks that Link's name is called Zelda. Well, apparently I think Zelda's name is called Link. <laughs> anyway, so we have a battle of Dark Zelda. Um, ow, damn, that could be trouble. Um, if you were to free Peach from uh, PD Piranha in well, in episode 1, if you think back, really, well, not too long ago, but we fought PD Piranha. If you were to free Peach from PD Piranha's crafts instead of Zelda, then you would be fighting Dark Peach. Also, you would be playing as Link and Yoshi, and you would actually be fighting Pits and Mario now. So, a bit of trivia there. And because I just missed out on it, I'm gonna build a snowman. I am. And it's not snow. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, okay. For a second there, I was getting kind of worried because it never takes that long to freaking load up a battle. Anyway. Uh, we have a double battle with these two. Whoever you don't pick is going to be uh, controlled by a computer CPU. If you are playing as player 2, they will also be playing as them. They'll be playing as them instead. So yeah. Anyway. That is that. I'm sorry that I didn't like talk for a bit there because I kind of had to concentrate a bit. That's the only thing that's problem with kind of live commentary and just playing a fighting game you have to concentrate. But anyway. Epic Archery! Yes! So now we can play as Kirby, Pit or Mario. I'm gonna be playing as Kirby first, then Yoshi, and then Link, and then Pit as my fourth character. Yes. Um, for this area, you oh, not for this area exactly, but yeah. But coming up, you'll probably want a quite fast, agile character. But anyway, not for this segment. The one me here, bomb bears, and really, they have bombs for heads. Yeah, gives a no meaning to, uh, you know, 
interesting. It just it gives no meaning to having bombs on the brain, I guess. If that's an actual phrase, not one that I made up. Uh, kill you. Uh, pretty easy to dodge. You just uh, dodge their bombs. Sometimes they actually hit other bomb beds, which is quite funny. And if you are successful, well, when they get rid of their head, they will just run around like a headless bomb bed, I guess. Not a headless chicken, a headless bomb bed, but yeah. Anyway. Um, guys. Is it, is it just me or is this that one drinking? Oh crap. Um, um, uh, Anik! What am I gonna do? I'm so like a hundred meters up in the air and oh. <laughs> I, I just like it when uh, films do that. I mean, um, you guess an example is in Journey to the Center of the Earth, the new one in 2008, where um, Brendan Fraser is like, um, the cent well, when Bre Brendan Fraser is like, Scaling the dark pit of death, and, he, and um, the woman has to cut the rope, and it's like, and he was like, "Oh no, no, no! I'm like a hundred meters away from the ground," and then he's like, and then he falls, and then he's like, one meter from the ground, or something. Uh, that's just something random, I guess. Anyway. For this area, you want to be quite vigilant. You want to be um, quite agile as well. You want to dodge them and dodge these blood-sucking douchebags and get this black like, trophy for it to count towards a hundred percent. And yes, the end of the second. And I could never ever understand that this was a door as well. Uh, just them making really weird doors in the background just confuses me a load. Anyway, I'm gonna be picking Yoshi and then Kirby, then Mario this time, and then we are going to go in into the dark hole in the side of the cliff. And that doesn't sound suggestive at all. And it's not an innuendo at all. Dark ball on the side of the cliff. <laughs> anyway. We have a fish. Let's just climb up here. Keep on going. Keep on going. And now you want to go up here because hidden in these bricks is a door. The door. Just hop over the water. And we got a blue box with what looks like King Zora. And a yellow block. Blocks. What the heck is a block? <coughs> well, I guess it's a block, yeah, I guess. And I don't want to fight you. You go away. Actually, come up here. Come on. Oh, what? Screw you, then. <coughs> Fail again for trophy sons. Anyway, we have these lava pillars here. Don't want to touch them because they're hot. Hence the lava. And you can also get crushed by them, so just, you know, be vigilant, I guess. And this key, this area. Do you think that you have to go into this door, right? They got these three doors. You just have to go into that door. And then they got a key there. Then put that into that door. And then they got a key in there. Then put it into that door, right? 
That's what you're thinking? No! Of course not! You just go straight to the top one and then put a key in there. And what's really stupid is that I never got that you were supposed to do that. I always went into the first, one, first door on the bottom, then the second door, and then the third door. And when I found out that you could just go straight through the third one, I was like... And uh, yeah, and I did not have any conservation that day at all. So yeah. Anyway, if you were to defeat the Shardas there, in that, in this Shardas here, um, you would of course find that door that appeared up there. Where there's a secret entrance, and of course you have to get in there and get the yellow block if you are to get 100%. Woo! Anyway. We got some chicken. Boom! Boom! Oh. Platforms don't protect them. They're evil chicken. They have to get some, uh, KFC. Come on. No. Oh, don't freaking pound me into the ground, you a hole. Um, um. <laughs> what? With your butt, I was supposed to say, not a hole. Anyway, let's have a bit more luck with that. No more fails for trophy standing. Fail free for 10 minutes or 10 seconds. I don't know. Either or. Anyway, we just had those blocks easy for our taking, and we have completed the level. Stage clear, we got Goldeen, Chigoth, and a lot of other trophies that I can't bother to read out. Ganon Dwarf. So let's go back to the map and plunge straight into the path to the ruins. Yes. Oh my, it's killing me. Ow. Uh. Anyway. I'm gonna be taking control as Pokemon Trainer here and of Squirtle and let's head down to the Path to the Ruins. So we got some just normal enemies here, we got Shellpod, which I currently have to kill for some reason. I don't know. And we got a hammer! Ugh. Men don't need proceed tools they only need a hammer yes anyway let's go over here pull up and I did not see that coming let's ow that's ow. No, let's get that trophy up and pop it. Even though I'm pretty sure I already got it. But eh. You can't have... Well... It's always better to have more than one. Unless it's of a pyramid, then you can... But it's just bad to have even one. Man, seriously. Alright. Let's just not go the other way, but go through here. And grab some food. 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 Oh. Hey. Anyway, we have a new enemy here. These guys. Gamyaga. 
these guys are pretty much like um, puppies. Yes, they're like the chocolate-flavored coated snack thing that you have as a snack. Yes, no, they're um, they're like pokey from um, the Mario series. Pretty much, you just pretty much destroy the head. They can't really do anything about it. And if you want to get the head nearer to the ground, then just go its body. Yes, that was very, that was very blunt. And just kill this body. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you are playing as Gorlud, then you probably want to destroy these bricks with some sort of strategy in mind, so that you don't like screw yourself when trying to get the trophies. But anyway, um, a little. The thing about this area again, I guess, is that later on in the game, you will have to know where this door is. So, yeah. This is really later on in the series, almost at the end of the game, to be honest. So, yeah, but yeah, you kind of have to know where that is. And that can be quite hard to get because um, sometimes you actually nudge trophy up the edge, which can get quite annoying. And man, if that happened, uh, but anyway, we're in the slobber section with some fire and lava, and it's a good thing that I'm a wall of Pokemon because then I get half damage from fire attacks Ow. and I get time to damage on you good sir die and don't say that Pokemon logic doesn't apply here Pokemon logic applies to all areas of the world and, and Ow. You suck. So die in a hole in your lonely room. Oh, you yourself. Die! Yes. Anyway, we had a yellow block there. Just again, you would need that if you want 100%. And that's. That's. That. No! Um... Oh god. I'm gonna fail- oh! No fail today! No fail of trophy standing today! Anyway... Can you please... Uh, okay, fail free for like five minutes and then we have a fail. Great. Uh, I'm scared that this thing will do bad thing to me. Oh, is that? And in these rooms in this area, this is really awesome because you can just be at like really high levels, and then you can the enemies can just battle you non-stop, but. You will not die. It's brilliant. You just bounce off the sides like a freaking pin, pin ball. Yeah. Like that, but of course you will less die. And I do demand compensation from that. I will be having a word with your lawyer. <laughs> or, yeah, whatever. Damn. Okay, I'll take it. Boom! Okay. And... We have to hop onto this platform, and... Luca shrinks. We have a battle! Uh... God, we wanna... No. 
We failed at trophy standing again. Well, apparently the fail three meters just like in the negatives now. Anyway, let's just head on to this and write this up and we got a blue block here and a red door here and nothing anyway let's just head on through these ruins that's architecture back there in the background yeah yeah I mean, this is very old. It's kind of in ruins, so yeah, I, get, I can see where the place gets its name. Yeah. Anyway, we have a battle with Wario with a really, really determined slash annoyed looking slash revenge driven Lucas. Yeah. I'm gonna be picking Lucas because I'm probably better at playing as him than I am. Uh, Pokemon trainer, yeah. Not by much, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, also, you friendly advice, you do not want this uh, battle to drag out because Wario has his fart attack, which gets power more powerful as time goes on. And if you get it to like, if you allow him to get to um, full charge, it can be devastating. God damn, I hate these flowers. Thank you. And there. Avengers Sweet. But so is chocolate, so yeah. Anyway, the stage is clear, we got a puppet, which we did not fail to do. We got Lumloff, we got Samus in the various suits? I don't know. And the Riolu and the Dr. Wright and the Glyer. So yeah. The Barrio suit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't play Metroid. Never have. Probably will in the future, but yeah. Mm. And I like how he sticks this um, thing on Luigi's nose. <laughs> I, I always found that quite funny for some reason. <laughs> I mean, just look at his face and just how he's posing and everything. And then you have this like golden button on his nose. <laughs> it looks so funny. Anyway, I think that is it for this episode. We had a bit of progress, we went to the Path of the Ruins, we went to Lakeshore, so I think that wraps up this episode. So, from me, Arbazanoki, enjoy your preview and good Bye. We're gonna go spelunking. There's a hole in the wall. Let's just go right through it. Go die in a hole. Oh wait. No, no. I wanna just go ahead and let them crush me. No, die in a hole. Oh wait. Oh my God. I'm doing this level again. Ah, I'm such a nice person. This may take a little bit longer than expected. Good freaking bye.